Hello, it's me, it's Lenny, the starving electrician. I know I don't look it still. It's the name of the company. A little rough, fell off the wagon. Well, I was in a wagon and I was drunk and uh, went down a hill naked and I fell off the wagon. So that's why I'm a little rough today. <laughs> today we're gonna do uh, these little um, box finders. What this is, it's a, Something I found on Amazon seemed pretty cool. So our first part of this is gonna be finding uh, electrical boxes buried. I've got a technique, but uh, we'll see how these work too. And then the second part of it is these. It's a cut-in uh, light box. And uh, I'll do a quick uh, demo on these and see how this works. I've never used either one of these before. So uh, we'll get started on uh, trying to find where this box is. Now, if you work at a construction site, uh, Cats bury your boxes, uh, it, it's a bear, but there are a couple of techniques. So before I use this product, let me show you how I would look for a box. Okay, quick and dirty. Uh, we have our old man rule, but for me it's a stick rule and it is a vital, you have to have one. A fish tape or a tape measure bends, goes limp, this doesn't. So anyhow, we know if we check some of our other boxes, let's just say they're 18 inches to the bottom. So now we know that if we have our measurement here, let's find 18 inches to the bottom. Okay, we know that. If you have them, so you put a mark, okay, there's 18 inches. 16 inches on center, wherever your center is. Okay, boom. I drive my screwdriver in there, feel around, and I know I can, I can hear the wires. Okay, now that's how a pro finds them easily and doesn't make a lot of holes. If you make a lot of holes, big deal. So you just run a, uh, a little bit of drywall mud over that and uh, you're good. Okay, now let me show you how the drywall guys find your box. Not so pleasant. Where the drywallers know your height or your studs, what have you, it doesn't matter. They stick this thing in there until they find it. Just the way that they do it. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. Okay, that might be an over exaggeration of what they do, but I've seen it and I've seen it look like this when they're done too. But we could care less about the drywall. The thing is, just gouges the shit out of our wires. And if they use this as a general practice and gouging wires, you plug and switch the house and half the house or half that circuit is out, you know why? Because some of these are just hanging on by a thread. So that's why we came up with, or we didn't come up with anything. That's why whoever came up with this little doohickey uh, wanted to defeat that uh, from happening to you all the time. I don't know if he's an electrician, just some guy. But uh, let's see what this does. Cause this guards the wire. It shields the wire, it goes in over the wires and then has this point. So when they put the drywall up, it's supposed to pop right through to there and you know exactly where that plug is. So it's like, they don't even have to mark it out. It's easy to find. So let's check this part of it out. <laughs> All right, let's see how it fits. Um, so I just stick it in the box. Same width as the box. Again, huh, it fits. It goes all the way to the back of the box. The only thing that does poke out is a pokey thing. So, uh, all right, let's put a sheet of drywall over that, push it in and we'll give that a try. Okay, here's the test. Let me see how it works. Push the sheet of drywall over it. Let's say I'm draw, drywalling and this is an eight foot piece. Let's see. Push it in. Well, I see the indentation. So I know that that's the center of the box. So let me screw this in and then route around that and see if, how that works. Now, regardless of what a mess I made out of that hole, the wires are protected. I'm not the drywaller. That's their job. My job is to keep my circuits intact. So with this, it gave me the, it gave them the indicator that there's a plug there. If it ever got buried, we know that that bump out is what it is. Now, there's other ways to find it. If you're drywalling, you could see the bump or whatever. I don't want to hear the electrician say, why don't you do it this way? I'm just doing a product review on this. Pull it out, wires are intact. A pack of six of these go for, I think like six bucks. 
but you know, if you got a hundred of them, it gets, to, it gets to cost you a little bit. But uh, if you're an electrician in the field, I think this is a, I think this is a pretty cool device, you know? So why not? It's for the protection, so why not? So uh, that being said, now we're gonna do the second part of this, which is that little cut-in box. So we'll take a quick break for tacos and uh, maybe beer, maybe. And then let's check out that uh, cutting box. Okay, at first glance, this looks pretty neat. Uh, no need for a hole saw. I don't know how sturdy it is, but it didn't come with any directions. So all I see in there is a hex head or it looks like something for a Phillips screwdriver. But I tried it, or Phillips screwdriver, like you'd ever do that, you'd be there all day. I tried putting that in there and it spins. So maybe I, I guess I'm wrong, you know, but uh, so a couple other things that I tried well, I got my nut driver for, for a uh, socket and I tried putting that in there and it's not made for that either. It's more of a hex head, you know? Ah, okay. So what did I do? I got a socket with a uh, number 14 metric socket and that seemed to fit like a glove, nice and sturdy. So, okay. So if you happen to have that laying around, I would think they'd have something more usable, more user-friendly for the homeowner, what have you, just, or the beginner. But uh, let's give this a try. Let's cut that hole in there and see how well it holds up. Here we go. Takes a minute, but not too shabby, I guess, you know. Um, I don't know how it dulls out, if it dulls out or what have you, but it's pretty good, I guess, instead of a hole saw. But uh, these big teeth here made a hell of a mess with all that drywall dust. Let me check one more thing out about this. It has these release tabs. Now, I don't know what they're for. If these are to release this part, uh, to release it to get the uh, drywall out of there. Uh, let me struggle with this here for a second. Okay, great. And it has these pins in the box. Now, okay, great. Fits right back on or what have you. If you, But do you have to buy this in order to get this? Can you buy these alone? Because I don't want to buy a whole bunch of these. Uh, they're expensive a piece, like six bucks a piece or so. We can get them for like $1.98. Just get a whole saw. But, I mean, I guess pretty cool. But uh, I don't know if this thing is to pop that drywall out. And, hey, look at me. I got the drywall out. Or, you know, because usually with a hole saw, you just pop through the back and it pops out. But for them to go through all that engineering, it seemed like a waste. So I don't know if you could buy these boxes separate. Both these items I got on Amazon. I just looked up gadgets, but I decided to give the try out for it. And then, of course, it's got uh, the cutting box. has a little tabs. They pull in, pull you into the box or what have you. I don't think you need me to show you how to screw in, you know, a few holes. But uh, simple. I mean, if you don't have a hole saw and you want to pay a couple more dollars each, uh, get those babies. Not too shabby. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody. You know I appreciate you. Um, like and share. Um, I need that from you. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this 110-degree heat in uh, Las Vegas. So check back with me soon.